All right, in today's video, we're gonna build a corner shelf for my grandson. So my daughter wants to have a little shelf so we can put a little clock on it so he knows what time to wake up. Yay, buggy! So if you have a five-year-old in your household, you'll understand the dilemma she's in. So let's get to building. So it's gonna be nothing more than a little right angle It'll be approximate these dimensions. I've got these off of a little uh, Amazon corner shelf. And so the wall mount, which will be inside corner, and the shelf will go across like this. So this is what the wall mount will look for. So the shelf will have a lip, it'll fit in and just sit on top of that. So you screw this piece into the wall. So let's get to making that part piece right now. So I'll begin with just creating a uh, straight edge on a couple pieces of maple and put it through the table saw on both sides to be able to get it nice and smooth and ready to join up the edges for a glue up. So I have my angle, which will go into the corner, drawn on here. And it, this piece is too wide to fit on my miter gauge with this bench top. So I'm gonna put it on my straight cut jig and cut this instead because I, I don't have enough room to be able to do that. So let's do that now. So. This is a straight cut or taper jig. It just has a groove piece here to fit in your channel. And that fits up flush against the table saw where the cut's gonna be made. So I can clamp this piece in here by lining up this line to this edge here. And we'll get that done there. Raise up the table saw blade. Let her rip. And then put it back on here again. Now I'll take a couple pieces of scrap cherry and I'm going to make sure I'm just sizing them to the identical size for our mounting frame that will go underneath the actual shelf. So we're building a little corner mount that will be screwed to the wall and we have to make a lip in it so the, the actual shelf will slip over the top of it and won't fall off. Two pieces cut. It has a little lip, and this would be the outside part like that. So it'll end up going like this. We'll miter that corner there.
That's how it's supposed to be, just like that. So with this is our corner cut, and this is our little corner frame. This will be drilled into the wall. This piece will fit like this on top of there. And so what we need to do is, is add glue on a small piece that'll fit in here that'll hold that thing from slipping out. So in other words, frame, put this in and just to set the frame on top. There you go. So I need a, a piece that is this wide to fit in this groove like that. So I'm going to measure this, which is exactly that distance there. Mark that line. And that's the width I'm going to cut. <clears throat> and we can glue that on the underside of the corner. <clears throat> so here's my shelf. Here's the bracket. It's going to fit on top like that. I have these little pieces here that will fit on the sides. And they'll allow us to set this in here and just hold it on as this thing is screwed into the wall. So the shelf's gonna to come to this line. So I'm gonna cut this like here and then turn this at 90 degrees with only about an inch or two width here. And I'll raise this up and glue it on here. Just a bit proud of this so we have a little bit of lip so stuff doesn't fall off here or little five-year-olds don't continue to knock stuff off. So this is the frame that fits on the top like that. And now I'm going to glue the front to it. So I had a drop face on that. So let's put it down like here. Move it back about a little bit and glue that puppy in. Here's the final shelf after I put a little whitewash on it to kind of match the bedroom furniture. This is the frame that this fits in. This will fit right over the top of like that. And that's easy peasy. Goes like that. And you bolt this into the wall. So with that, let's get it installed. Here we go. Up the ladder. There's the shelf. There's the clock. What time is it? Hey, we hope you enjoyed our build for a corner shelf for a little clock for a five-year-old. If you enjoyed that and learned something, hey, be sure and give us a thumbs up. Want to see more of our videos? Consider subscribing down below. And as usual, come back and see us real soon. Buggies up there? Yay, buggy! We have a little clock shelf.